Well, it's obvious the stove glass is not in yet, but I was just wanting to give you an idea of what the stove looks like when it would be burning. Uh, I was looking for my infrared thermometer, but um, I don't know exactly where it's at. Uh, yeah, I don't use it very often, but I want to get an idea of what the temps were on this, and uh, that would be a good way to do it. I do have a, um, a wood fire stove thermometer, uh, and once this thing is fully hooked up and working uh, for a while, I will have the stove thermometer on it so you can see how hot the stove is getting compared to the wood stove. Um, that would be a good comparison. So, yep, this is uh, with a butane stove, a little $29 butane stove. Uh, it fits in there real nice. I put the pipe in there so the stove would clear. Um, you can see some heat coming off out of the pipe on the left. You can see the heat waves uh, over here. Let's see, I'll zoom in right in here. That's where the heat would be coming out. So I plan to put a fan uh, down below blowing up into this tube here, right here. Let's see, it's a 90 degree elbow and uh, it'll blow the air past the heated metal there and heat the metal or heat the air, um, circulate the heated air throughout the living space. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Um, the um, upper and lower JB Weld is not set yet. Uh, it won't be set till tomorrow. Tonight at about eight, uh, the JB Weld on the sides will be fully set up. It takes 24 hours. So, uh, I'm going to add some more JB Weld too. After uh, this JB Weld cures, then I'm going to put JB Weld on the inside around all the fittings. So I'm going to turn it off right now. So, this is what you do to turn it off. You can, I can already kind of smell. Um, let's see. This is not warm yet. No. Now, this, I know that's hot. Yeah, right there. That's hot. It's already hot. So. Yeah, just a little test burn. I uh, I just fitted the, um, the gas line right through the bottom here. I've got a little fiberglass door insulation. Had some extra. I cut a slot that goes all the way across. So this door has quite a big flange on it. I had to go back beyond this flange. And uh, yeah, that looks like it's going to work pretty good there to get the fuel into the stove.